morning year one and welcome to your phonics learning for today. To start today's session we are going to practice our segmenting, our sound talking of words to help us spell because later on in today's session for your home learning activity you're going to have to segment words and try and spell them yourselves. Let's see if we can repair the broken rocket by sound talking the words linked to the pictures. Our first word we need to sound talk here is shrimp. Have those sound talking hands ready and sound talk with me. Sh, r, i, m, p. Shrimp. Three. 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 Let's go. S, r, e. Three. You'll notice it was the cheeky clown at the beginning of the word. I know it's hard to hear me and often we need to look at someone's mouth to see which s sound they are showing. Spear. Spear. Off we go, sound talk together. S p ear. Spear. A tricky trigraph in there. Plug. Plug. P -ug. Plug. Good job. Shelf. Shelf. Sound talk with me. Sh, eh, u, f. Shelf. Windmill. Windmill. Oh, this is quite a long word. Let's break it down into two syllables. Wind and mill. Shall we sound talk wind first? U, e, n, d. Wind. Now we need the second part of the word, mill. M, e, u. Clap it back together. Wind, mill. Fantastic. Chimp. Chimp. Off we go. Ch, e, m, p. Chimp. Brown. Brown. B, r, ow, m. Brown. Tent. Tent. T, e, m, t. Tent. Clap. And last but not least, clap. Ooh, app, clap. Super sound talking. Now hopefully that's got your brains exercised and ready for your phonics and it will help you out later when you have a go at your own spellings. Now to begin today's phonics session, if you'd like to have a go at practicing some tricky words, then you can practice today the words Monday or Tuesday. We're going to be looking at days of the week again in maths, so this is really, really super helpful. If you'd like to do this and have a practice, then pause the video, otherwise we'll continue. Today we are going to focus on this grapheme. Do you know what this letter is called? I don't want to know what sound it makes. What is its name? Yes, this is the letter Y. The letter Y can make many sounds. Today, we're going to look at two of those sounds. Any ideas what these sounds might be? Good job if you said Y or E. These are the two sounds we're going to focus on for today. Now, we need to have a look at the word on the screen sound talking it using both pronunciations to guess what is underneath the box. Let's start with the y sound first. Can you get those sound talking hands ready? Fantastic. Off we go together. Y, e, u, o. Yellow. Let's try with the e sound now. E, e, u, O, yellow. Which one do you think is right? Y or E? Yes, I think I agree. Let's have a look. That's right, it's the colour yellow underneath. It was the Y sound for this word. Let's have a go here. Start with the Y sound again. S, P, O, T, Y, S, P, 
spot you. Or with the E sound. Spot. E. Spotty. What do we think? Spotty or spotty? I think I agree and you're right. There's lots of spots underneath the box. Can you have a go at sound talking this word and then call out what you think it is? What word do you think it says? Shall we have a look? Oh look, it's lit Mr Happy. In happy is the Y making the Y or the E sound. That's right, it's the E sound here. Let's have a look at the next word. Again, can you secret sound talk this word? I'm going to give you a clue. The letter O here is making the O sound. What do you think the word could say? Shall we have a look? Yes, it's yoga. In yoga, is the Y making a Y or an E sound? That's right, it's making the Y sound. Good job. Y -o -g -a. Yoga. Again, you know what to do. Sound talk the word and call out what you think it could say. What do you think it is? Yawn. Let's have a look. There's a tricky digraph in there. Are you right? Yes, you are. The baby is having quite a big yawn there. In the word yawn, is the Y representing a Y or an E sound? Yes, it's the Y sound again. Good job. One more to go. You know what to do. Sound talk it. What do you think the word could say? Shall we have a look? It's a prickly hedgehog. Good job if you said prickly. In prickly, what sound is the letter Y representing? Yes, it's the E sound. Good job. Now these are the words that we have read this morning so far. I have sorted them into the correct phonemes. The letter Y over here makes the Y sound in words like yoga, yawn and yellow. The letter Y on this side represents this phoneme, the E sound, in words like spotty, happy and prickly. Take some time here. Do you notice anything about where the letter Y is in the words? You might have noticed that when the letter Y represents the Y sound, it's often at the beginning of the word. And when the letter Y represents the E sound, it's often at the end of the word. Now remember this because it might help you with today's learning challenge. For today's home learning activity, I would like you to have a go at spelling the words that match the pictures. All of the words today will have our grapheme, the letter Y in it, either representing the Y or the E sound. Let me tell you the words so you know which what you have to write. The first word is silly. And then we have cherry. Family. Yell, yarn, year, and party. Those are your words to write. So that is your activity today. You might need to rewind the video if you can't remember what the words are you need to spell. Have a go at writing these down by sound talking them and then representing each sound with a grapheme, just like we did in our activity at the beginning. Don't forget, if you'd like to send us any of your home learning, then you can do so by sending it to the email address here. Until next time, take care and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye.